Hi Pisces, this is a peek at your partner for the week of October the 24th through October the 31st, 2021. Universal Energies, show me what I need to see for the partner of the star sign of Pisces for October the 24th through October the 31st, 2021. Universal energies, show me what I need to see for the partner of the star sign of Pisces for October the 24th through October the 31st, 2021. Universal energies, show me what I need to see for the partner of the star sign of Pisces for October the 24th through October the 31st, 2021. Show me. You guys, subscribe, like, comment, and share these videos. If this does not resonate with you, check your moon, rising, and Venus sign videos. I do not read reversals. So, Pisces. Pisces, this is a peek at your partner. So, Pisces, your partner has you front and center, the King of Cups. Your partner has death. Your partner has the Five of Swords. Your partner has the Two of Pentacles. And your partner has the King of Pentacles. So, Pisces. Your partner has the King of Cups. This is you, Pisces, Scorpio, or Cancer. This king is a very loving, kind, compassionate king. He's fair and balanced in his emotions, but he does not wear his emotions on his sleeve. He's in complete control of his emotions. So, Pisces, this is you. Clarify the king of cups for Pisces, partner. Clarify the king of cups for Pisces, partner. What does Pisces partner think of Pisces? What does Pisces partner think of Pisces? Clarify the King of Cups for Pisces partner. It is clarified with the Two of Swords. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This is you needing to make a decision, but you're in the dark about some things. Some things you just refuse to see, refuse to acknowledge, a lack of information, block communication. So it's hard for you to make an informed decision in this position. But this is also a card of you being closed off, blocked off, not wanting to see, wanting to ignore, wanting to turn a blind eye. So Pisces. I asked your partner, what do they think of you? They may think that you're indecisive. They may think that you're blocking communication. However, they may be indecisive concerning you or they may be blocking communication with you. We'll see. Pisces, your partner has death. Could be dealing with a Scorpio, but death symbolizes to end something, only to begin something new. Death symbolizes transformation, rebirth. Could be dealing with a Scorpio. Mm-hmm. But your partner could tell me that things are ending here. You know, things may be transforming here or starting new after an ending. Clarify death for Pisces, partner. Clarify death for Pisces, partner. Clarify death for Pisces, partner. It is clarified with the four of wands. Aries, Leo, or Sag, this is the structure, the foundation of a solid, stable, committed relationship. This is leveling up the relationship. This is the marriage ceremony card. Now, we could be speaking of a celebration, a birthday party, anniversary party, baby shower, the home, but this is the marriage ceremony card. So, Pisces, listen, your partner could tell me that you guys already had some type of commitment or stability or foundation here, and it ended 
However, your partner could tell me that there's some type of transformation happening here, meaning going from dating to now we're engaged, from engaged to now we're married, transformation, and maybe wanting to level up or have some type of commitment here. We'll see. Pisces, your partner has the five of swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, this is tit for tat, tug of war, one up and one another, snide remarks, having the last say, speaking ill of one another behind each other's back, backstabbing one another. This is playing mind games, ego tripping, trying to win at all costs, a bunch of mind games and manipulation. So Pisces, listen, your partner could tell me that you guys had this tit for tat, tug of war, toe to toe going on. You know, it could have been some type of mind games and manipulation. Maybe this is why they're indecisive concerning you or you're indecisive concerning them. Some type of mind games and manipulation. Your partner could also have some type of axe to grind. I don't know why. Clarify the five of swords for Pisces, partner. Clarify the five of swords for Pisces, partner. Clarify the five of swords for Pisces, partner. Knight of Cups. What? Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. This is someone coming into your partner or your partner coming in to apologize, to offer their cup of love and make the romantic gesture. So someone is saying, I'm sorry. Someone is trying to heal things, mend things, work things out. May even be coming in with some type of romantic gesture here, okay? So it could have been some type of tit for tat, tug of war, toe to toe going on. Yeah, you know, it could have been some type of mind games and manipulation, but maybe someone is coming in to apologize here. Let's see. Or even coming in with a romantic gesture, wanting to level up. Clarify the Knight of Cups for Pisces, partner. Clarify the Knight of Cups for Pisces, partner. Clarify the Knight of Cups for Pisces, partner. It is clarified with the Knight of Pentacles. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This is someone coming into your partner or your partner coming in to bring something more solid, stable, and secure. Now, this can be about making things more committed. This can be about a lump sum of money, a job offer, a raise, a promotion, a bonus, a high ticket item purchase, a new home, a new car, a token of love, a gift, anything of value. But it's on the slowest moving night in the deck. So having anything solid, stable, secure, and long-lasting is so slow coming to the point where it seems like it's not coming at all. So stability or commitment has been halted here. So Pisces, it almost makes me feel like you guys may have been in the work to have some type of commitment or stability here. But I don't know, something maybe have thrown a monkey wrench into this. Okay, I don't know if it was a tip, tat, tug of war, toe-to-toe, -to -toe, mind games, manipulation. It just seems like... You know, or someone just being indecisive. Everything is at a screeching halt here. Clarify the Knight of Pentacles for Pisces, partner. Clarify the Knight of Pentacles for Pisces, partner. Clarify the Knight of Pentacles for Pisces, partner. It is, what? Not the Five of Swords here? <sighs> you know... Like I said, we could have been on the road to have something solid and stable between us, some type of stability, some type of foundation, maybe even commitment here. But I feel like everything came to a screeching halt here. You know, it could have been because there was some type of mind games and manipulation or some type of tit for tat, tug of war, toe to toe going on. And is it that someone here is feeling spiteful and vengeful? because of what's happening maybe we'll find out here what's happening and because they're feeling spiteful and vengeful they're bringing whatever we had in the works to a screeching halt here Pisces, your partner has the two of pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This is juggling. And this could be juggling two ideas. Should I, shouldn't I? Will I, won't I? This can be your partner managing many things at once, weighing up the pros and the cons, or juggling two relationships. So Pisces, listen, your partner could tell me that they're weighing things up, trying to decide here. Or your partner is saying that there was some type of juggling here. Clarify the two of pentacles. For Pisces, partner. 
Clarify the Two of Pentacles for Pisces, partner. Clarify the Two of Pentacles for Pisces, partner. It is clarified with the freaking Hierophant. Could be dealing with a Taurus. But the Hierophant speaks to the leader of a religious organization, the leader of a metaphysical organization. This is a clergyman, a pastor, a preacher, a teacher, a coach, a mentor, a counselor, someone a wise counsel. This is the institution of higher learning. This is a corporate institution. This is the marriage card. So Pisces could be dealing with a Taurus, but listen, you know, you guys may already have this commitment. You know, someone could have commitment on the brain. This can be about forgiveness here. This can be dealing with some type of institution, organization, governmental agency, religious differences or values here. But is this about commitment? Clarify the Hierophant for Pisces, partner. Clarify the Hierophant for Pisces, partner. Clarify the Hierophant. For Pisces, partner, it is clarified with judgment. Now, judgment could be your partner passing their own final verdict and judgment over you guys' relationship. Judgment could be the final verdict and judgment in a legal court case. But judgment is forgiveness and resurrection of the relationship. Second chances. So listen, either your partner is trying to weigh things up and decide on their answer, their judgment. Your partner could tell me that someone is wanting forgiveness and a second chance here because of juggling. Clarify judgment. For Pisces, partner. Clarify judgment. For Pisces, partner. Clarify judgment. For Pisces, partner. It is... Really? So your, your partner is doubling up here. See? See, 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 two of pentacles here. So listen, it, your partner is weighing things up, trying to decide on whether or not their answer, their final verdict and judgment, decision here, possibly to go into commitment here, or your partner is weighing things up, trying to decide about forgiveness and a second chance because of juggling, okay? Should I, shouldn't I? Should I, shouldn't I? I don't know. Your partner has the King of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This king is usually stable, rooted, grounded, traditional, believes in the institution of marriage and family, someone who is good with managing finances and material resources. This could be a business owner, CEO, independent contractor, manager. Could be dealing with this Taurus. Virgo, Capricorn, or someone with Earth prominent in their chart. However, when we're dealing with the King of Pentacles, the King of Pentacles is a married, stable, committed person, so you could be dealing with a spouse. King of Pentacles is a nurturing father figure, so you could be dealing with the parent of your child. Could be dealing with someone you work with or do business with or have some type of joint assets, resources, and property with, or a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Stability here. Clarify the King of Pentacles for Pisces, partner. Clarify the King of Pentacles for Pisces, partner. Clarify the King of Pentacles for Pisces, partner. It is clarified with the lovers. Could be dealing with a Gemini. But the lover says, you know, I breathe you in. You breathe me in. We are so magnetically attracted to one another. We cannot get enough of one another. Babe, I need to make a choice. So, listen, Pisces, you could be dealing with a Gemini, but... Your partner can tell me that you guys have this strong twin flame magnetic pull here. Or your partner saying that someone has another other lover. Clarify the lovers. For Pisces, partner. Clarify the lovers. For Pisces, partner. Clarify the lovers. For Pisces, partner. It is clarified with the Knight of Swords. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This is someone rushing into your partner or your partner rushing in, demanding truth, demanding clarity, speaking your truth, spewing facts with direct, harsh communication. Now, here's where truth comes out. It's swift, it's bitter, it's harsh, it's direct, it's almost confrontational. It's where you can't get a word in edgewise, but it's truth. So listen, 
some type of confrontation happening here. Question and answer session. Someone setting the record straight. Someone getting to the bottom of something. They may feel like someone had another other lover. There was juggling going on here. Pisces, are you indecisive on whether or not to forgive them? Are they indecisive concerning you on forgiving you? I feel like you guys were in the works to go towards some type of commitment here. But like I told you, it's like some type of monkey witch was thrown in the situation. Clarify the Knight of Swords. For Pisces, partner. Clarify the Knight of Swords. For Pisces, partner. Clarify the Knight of Swords. For Pisces, partner. It is clarified with the Page of Pentacles. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This is news or a message about a solid, stable, committed offer. Now, this can be the news about an offer for an invite out for dinner and a movie. This can be about making things more committed. This can be about a lump sum of money, a job offer, a raise, a promotion, a bonus, a high ticket item purchase, a new home, a new car, a token of love, a gift, anything of value. This is the news or message of it. So some type of news about practicality, money, assets, resources, property, mm -hmm. or commitments. There's a confrontation happening because there's someone else here. Clarify the page of pentacles for Pisces, partner. Clarify the page of pentacles for Pisces, partner. Clarify the page of pentacles for Pisces partner it is clarified with the freaking ten of cups scorpio cancer or pisces this is emotional fulfillment this is the apex card this is the happy family happy life happy wife happy stable committed relationship and happy home this is what we're all striving for so we're speaking of marriage commitment home family emotional fulfillment so i feel like it's clear to me that we were on the road to go into some type of commitment, commitment, commitment here, okay? Commitment. But something happened. I feel like now forgiveness may be in the picture or whether or not we're going to get an answer to go forward with this commitment because we're finding out that there's juggling going on. There's another other lover and it's causing a confrontation. And so this news about this commitment may be that, hey, we're ending it, you know? So it's just up to you whether or not you decide, yes, we're going forward to it with it. It's up to them on whether or not they want to go forward with it with you. Pisces, this is a peek at your partner for the week of October the 24th through October the 31st, 2021. You guys give me feedback, subscribe, like, comment, and share, and I'll see you guys next week. Peace.